Today I'm going to show you how to make cream puffs and eclairs. Let's get started. For the classic cream puffs and eclairs, you need one half cup of water, one half cup of fresh milk, a pinch of salt, one fourth cup of butter, one cup of bread flour, four regular size eggs or three extra large eggs. For the pastry cream, you need one half cup of sugar, one third cup of cornstarch, four egg yolks, two cups of fresh milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, one fourth cup of butter, and a pinch of salt. For the caramel topping, one cup of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of lemon juice or calamansi juice or one eight teaspoon cream of tartar. For chocolate glaze, one half cup all-purpose cream, one tablespoon butter, one tablespoon corn syrup, 200 grams of semi-sweet, bittersweet, or dark chocolate. For the cream puff, we'll make the pate choux or the cream puff base, okay? Milk, water, salt, and butter. You heat this until it boils, and then once it boils, we add in the flour. This is what we call a pata choux. Once it boils, usually it goes together. Once the butter melts, uh, the mixture boils. So, see? You add in all at once one cup of bread flour. Mix well. Turn off the heat. Mix this. Put back the heat on. Alright, this is done. Okay. How do you know when to stop? See? You see at the bottom, it will form a film. The bottom of the uh, saucepan, it will form a film. See? A film that does not burn. Okay? What we're going to do now is we will cool down the mixture before we add the eggs. Okay, you can see smoke coming out. Once you don't see the smoke, you can add the egg. If you're using regular sized eggs, use four eggs. If you're using extra large, use only three. Please take note that if you add the uh, eggs while it's still steaming hot, what happens is you prematurely cook the eggs. This one, there's no, it's still hot, but there's no more steam coming out. So I'll add one egg first. Mix it very well before you add the next egg. You make sure that it holds together before you add the next egg. If you see, it's not holding together yet, but slowly it's coming together. Okay, I'm going to add the next egg now, see? It's coming together. If you're not sure your eggs are fresh, please don't break the egg directly into the mixing bowl. Uh, I'm sure this is fresh. We just got this from the poultry. It's coming together now, so we will add the last egg. Okay. To check if you have the right consistency, it forms a V. See? Forms a V. Okay, let me scrape the bottom and mix it one more time. You prepare a pastry bag. This is a small bag. Maybe a bigger bag will help you make it faster, but at the moment, I don't have a big bag. Okay, this is done. Just make sure that the bottom also is well mixed. Again, you will know that you have enough because it forms a V. Okay? See? It forms a letter V. This is your guide that you have enough flour, you have enough eggs. Okay? If the V drips, it means there's too much eggs. And if there is too little eggs, you will not be able to form a V. It's up to you if you want to make little puffs or big puffs, okay? Uh, this is a, uh, I'm using a big round tip. Some would use a star tip. It doesn't matter, you can use a round tip or a star tip, okay? If you want to make eclairs, Thank you. 
here this is what you do you brush this so that you don't have points okay you don't have to do this but you know it would uh, it's nicer where there are no uh, points uh, this is milk you can use egg but actually uh, in this case since we're going to put either caramel or chocolate uh, you don't really need something to make the top brown you just want to take out the point okay here but as I said uh, you don't have to do this I just want to show you for those who are OC and then we're going to put this in a 375 degrees about uh, maybe 20 minutes and then we lower the heat to 350 for another 15 minutes all right for the pastry cream I have here sugar cornstarch uh, vanilla and butter I mix together which we will add later then salt salt is just to balance then you have egg yolks you can make pastry cream with whole eggs but it's not very creamy and then we have fresh milk you can also use evaporated milk And then you just cook this until it boils and the mixture thickens and you're done okay uh, the mixture is thickened okay so I'm going to add in the butter and the vanilla it's now off the heat okay there's no more heat I put it off you mix this well and then you put this in a uh, bowl, cover it with plastic to the touch. Again, to the touch means the plastic should touch the pastry cream so that it will not form a skin. I'm just trying to incorporate the butter. Okay, okay. this is your pastry cream. Here, again, press it down. That, that is what you mean by put plastic to the touch all right here you can see the puffs cream puffs the pate choux. it's puffing nicely inside the oven this has been baking for 15 minutes at 375 degrees i will bake this for about 10 minutes more and then i will lower the heat to 350 340 degrees until the puffs are nicely brown and when you touch or hold it it's very light i have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded right let's take it out of the oven you will know it's cooked because you see if you hold it it's very light if you touch it and it uh, feels heavy then you need to bake it some more okay see the bottoms are brown you can't really control how it puffs more or less they should look the same all right off come i made another batch so i have little cream puffs and big cream puffs okay uh, basically the same the same ingredients the same procedure i just pipe them bigger okay this has cooled down so i'll show you how to fill this here I put them back in the mixer so it will be smooth and then we'll fill this after we fill then we will put some will put caramel some will put chocolate okay glaze you know the old style was we would split this and put the uh, cream nowadays we don't do that anymore we put it from the bottom okay and whatever excess you take it out so we'll continue with this until we've uh, filled all of this with the pastry cream for the eclairs uh, you do two points okay don't push it from here so here let's make first the caramel topping okay you can choose to make caramel topping you can choose to do uh, chocolate okay this is sugar 
we add a little lemon juice just mix this in the lemon juice or the cream of tartar is so that uh, the uh, sugar the caramel sugar will not crystallize very very quickly okay so it will give you time when you apply the caramel some put them in the bottom but the traditional is to put it on top okay here in the Philippines our caramel topping will not uh, stay uh, will not stay dry for a long time because we are very humid here so there's a tendency for it to become watery now it's melted so so this is what we do we put the caramel on top if you're wondering why we have extra caramel because this is for one recipe we're going to do chocolate to the other half so if you're going to use half half so your caramel should only be one half okay okay so we have caramel here for chocolate an easy way oh well the, the usual way is to heat the cream add in the chocolate and then add the butter and the uh, corn syrup but another thing you can do is put the cream the butter and the corn syrup and put this in the microwave this is the faster way if you don't have a microwave heat the cream and then pour the hot cream into the chocolate it will melt and then add the butter and the corn syrup the butter and the corn syrup is to make it shiny okay basically what we're making is like a ganache huh? here this is uh, 230 seconds or one minute this consistency is too runny so we cool this down a little bit until it gets to a consistency that it will just stay on top okay and then here I want to show you see they will stick together so what you do is you just cut this off okay and then put that here okay here's our eclair and then this is a good consistency you know what I do um, you know you always have some extra patashu or the puff you can try dipping it to see if it does not drip okay but this is the consistency that you're looking at uh, I will not wear gloves anyway I'm going to eat this I'm just going to use my hands because sometimes the problem with the gloves if it doesn't fit you right the gloves will be dipped in the chocolate and when you put it down it will be very messy okay you'll understand when you make this at home so this is what I do I dip and then Okay, you see. Again, this is another one. Make sure you have a grip. Okay. All right, here. So, this is our eclair. Okay. I have big ones and small ones. I will put them in a show plate for the picture. Okay. We have the traditional cream puff with the caramel on top and then we have the chocolate eclairs.